So here we have um, Snowflake Part 2. So what you'll notice in these is now there is going to be a number other than 1 in front of the x squared. So I will have a number for a. So first thing I do, uh, make sure there's no GCF. 6, 5, and 4 don't have anything in common, so I go straight to Snowflake. Write out my a, b, and c. So I have a equals 6, b is negative 5, and c is negative 4. So I'm going to fill out my snowflake. a times c on top, 6 times negative 4 gives me negative 24. And then I have b on the bottom, a, x, a, x. All right, so now I'm looking for my factors of 24. So I always start with 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, and then they start to repeat. So I need two of those. That will give me a difference of 5. So 3 and 8. Now, um, because it's negative on top, it's going to be opposite signs, and the bigger number has to be the same sign as the bottom. So I'm going to have negative 8, positive 3. Now make sure you check this. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24, and 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. So I can proceed. So um, with a number for a, you're going to simplify the wings. So what that means is 6 and 3, if that was a fraction and I was reducing it, I could divide out a 3 from top and bottom, and I would have 2x over 1. So now that becomes one of my factors. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If that were a fraction, 6 and 8, well, they would both have a 2 in common, and so I would have 3x over negative 4, and so that would be my second factor. So my factored form is 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 4. Again, the way I check it is I FOIL. I do first, outer, inner, last. Make sure that when I multiply it, it gives me the question. All right, my last one, 2x cubed plus 8x squared minus 64. So the first thing I check for is a GCF, and this thing right here being a cubed, I don't know how to factor a cubed. So if it's a cubed, something has to come out. Let's change that to... So the biggest thing that 2x cubed 8x squared and 64x have in common is a 2x. So I can factor out a 2x of every single term. So 2x cubed factor out a 2x leaves me with x squared. 8x cubed or 8x squared factor out a 2x leaves me with 4x. And negative 64x factored out leaves me with 32. So now I'm going to take this part and do snowflake on it. So my a, a is 1, b is 4, and c is negative 32. So I'm going to have negative 32 on top, b on the bottom, ax, ax. Now I'm looking for my factors of 32, so I always have... 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8, no 5, no 6, and then they start to repeat. So 4 and 8 will get me to negative 32, and if I do positive 8, negative 4, because 32 is negative, I will get to positive 4. So I check them. Negative 8, or negative 4 plus 8 is 4. Negative 4 times 8 gives me negative 32. So I'm checking for anything to reduce. 
Um, 1x and negative 4 doesn't reduce, so I have x minus 4. And 1x and 8 doesn't reduce, so I have x minus 8. Now the difference with this one is I have a factor out front, 2x squared, so that thing is just going to come all the way down and sit in front of my factored form. So my final answer would be 2x times x minus 4 times x minus 8. That thing is completely factored now.